Hey, 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 Team HQ Sports. Guess what? We got one week left until I see a preseason baseball game. Hallelujah! I'm Lauren Gambino here with you on a Monday night for some back-to-back -back nights of HQ Sports. That's right, if you played with us yesterday on Sunday for a little NASCAR trivia, I thank you. And, you know, we were upset to see what happened to our main man, Bubba Wallace. But he seems to be in good spirits about it. Just think about hitting the wall at 200 miles an hour. Is that going to hurt? But Murray in his final 500 could not avoid the 43 of Bubba Wallace. Nope. Ooh, I mean, it wasn't a wall, but I'm sure that hurt regardless. Probably just his pride, but you'll get him next time, Bubba. We're still rooting for you. We get things going on social media before every game of HQ Sports, and you can find us at HQ Sports. I know, pretty handy, right? Or you can comment your answer in the chat right now. So with NBA All-Star Weekend behind us, I wanted to know what was your favorite moment? At Sporty Ed 12 says, Dirk hitting deep threes. I know, he's still got it, right? At Ponjik, it says, Curry's bounce pass to Giannis for the dunk. That was easily one of the best highlights of the night, right? At Eric Hullen says, Damian Lillard shooting from half court. And at Big Sexy DD, love your name, says, Jason Tatum winning the skills challenge. Ah, well, I was personally a big fan of this moment. Shaq is a big man. Diallo dunking over him and then hanging on the rim with the Superman. That was wild. A little too much for me to take. He definitely earned that win. As always, thank you so much for playing along with us for our little pregame workout. But now we got 12 rounds of sports only trivia to get through with a cash prize on the line. $1,000 is our pot tonight. And points and levels for season two of HQ is still in effect. You can continue to earn points by answering questions correctly and by sharing your level status on social media. The more points you earn, the quicker you can level up and earn those free passes on questions to make winning any game on HQ a little bit easier. Let's check in and see where that jackpot is at right now. $95,245. That is a lot of dollars. And that is only going up with the more points that you earn, so keep that going if you know what I mean. Now I hope you have a strong stomach, and I do, I have an iron stomach, because whether you like it hot or not, you will wanna watch HQ Trivia tonight at 9 p.m. to find out just how much Scott Rogowski can handle. It's gonna get spicy up in her with some spicy questions and some spicy hot wings. We're turning up the heat tonight at nine with a special guest. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. I don't know, I think Scott is like a mild to medium person, so we will find out. Before we begin, an extra life can definitely give you the edge over the competition, so pick one up now or invite new friends to play HQ to earn them for free. You can also play with friends and earn free erasers too, just saying, every little bit helps. Okay team, let's set that game clock to the over 147,000 players ready to flex their sports knowledge. Let's see what you're made out of. Round number one starts right now. In total points, who is the NBA's all-time leading scorer? Playoff Rondo, Swaggy P, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. What's it gonna be, team? Well, when it comes to points per game, no one beats Air Jordan, although Wilt comes the closest. But in total points, no one can top Kareem, who kept scoring well into his 40s. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the all-star we were looking for here. 117,036 of you got that one right. Look out, I'm bounce passing round number two right now. Here it is. Who was the first person to break Babe Ruth's career home run record? Hank Aaron, Rod Carew, or Reggie Jackson? Talking about the great Bambino here. Not to get confused with me, the great Gambino, although my home run record is a hot zero, but Babe Ruth's record was 714. Here's a look at the first person to get to 715. Straight away, 
Fastball is a high drive into deep left center field. Buckner goes back to the fence. It is gone. What a marvelous moment for baseball. Hammer and Hank Aaron's career record would end up being 755, but he was the first person to break Babe Ruth's career home run record. Hank Aaron is the man we were looking for. 98,917 of you easily hit that one out of the park. Now I'm going to throw round three at you. Let's see what you do with that. In boxing history, who was the only three-time lineal heavyweight champion? Jack Johnson, Sugar Ray Robinson, or Muhammad Ali? Get your punches in here, team. Well, listen, here's how great the greatest was. Ali is the only three-time lineal champ, sure. But one of the times he lost that title... It wasn't from a fight. It was because he refused to be drafted into the army. So the government took the belt, but he got it back. Muhammad Ali is who we are talking about. Three-time lineal heavyweight champ. 76,554 of you getting that one right. Wow, to the over 40,000 of you getting out here. Man, I bet that stings like a bee. To the rest of you, we're going to float like a butterfly onto round number four. That was pretty good. Give me that. Round four. Who was the first black baseball player to play for an American League team? Kurt Flood, Larry Doby, or Jackie Robinson? Yes, we all know the great number 42 was the first to break the color barrier with the Dodgers. But they were in the National League. Larry Doby debuted for Cleveland in the American League just months later, facing some of the same challenges, but receiving less fame. He ended up being a seven-time All-Star. Larry Doby is the answer here at round number four. 28,723 of you knew that one. Wow! Knocking out well over 80,000 of you here. Almost 90,000 here at round number four. We're only going into round number five. Can you hang in there? Let's see. Round five. Which of these is not one of Bill Russell's NBA accomplishments? Most career rebounds, most titles as a player, first black head coach. As if 11 titles weren't enough more than any other player, Russell also became the first black NBA head coach in 1966 when he took charge of the Celtics. He's still second to Wilt in rebounds, though. Most career rebounds is not one of his accomplishments. 33,450 of you knew that one. Wow, knocking out so many more here at round number five. Oh, an extra life can definitely help you rebound into round number six if you got one. Here it is. Among tennis players in the open era, Serena and Venus Williams share the record for most what? Wimbledon titles, Olympic gold medals, or Grand Slam titles? They definitely win in my book for most talented sisters. But Serena's 23 Grand Slams put her ahead of all men and women in the open era. Martina Navratilova has the Wimbledon record. Serena and her sister Venus share the Olympic record with four golds. Oh yeah, four Olympic gold medals is the answer here at our halfway point. 21,958 of you acing this quiz so far. And hey, I'm serving up the next half of this game honoring Black History Month. Here it is, round seven. Lewis Hamilton is the first ever black driver in what series? IndyCar, Formula One, or NASCAR? Put the pedal to the metal here, team. In his own words, Hamilton said, it's a pretty cool feeling to be the person to knock down a barrier, like the Williams sisters in tennis or Tiger Woods in golf. Hamilton broke the barrier as the first black driver in Formula One, and then went on to break records after that. Formula One is your answer here at round number seven. 44,190 of you continue to get that left hand turn in, keep in pace for round number eight. Where did the exhibition basketball team, now known as the Globetrotters, originate? Chicago, Los Angeles, or Atlanta? Ah, oh, I hear that Globetrotters music in my head right now. I can't whistle or else I would do it for you. 
They may be the Harlem Globetrotters, but this group of trickshaw experts originated on the south side of Chicago in the 1920s. The Globetrotters added Harlem because of the neighborhood. It was the center of African-American culture. Chicago is where they originated, though. And that was the answer here at round number eight, 20,000. 716 of you knew that one. Hey, no trick shots here. Just four more to go as we get into the tougher questions. Do you have what it takes? Round number nine. What school was the first to win the NCAA basketball title with five African-American starters? Cincinnati, Kentucky, Texas, Western. Now called the University of Texas El Paso, it was Texas Western that beat Adolph Rupp's Kentucky team in the finals in 1966. Pat Riley was a player for that Kentucky team that lost 72 to 65. Texas Western was the school. 12,957 of you are still in it here. And listen, I need you to pay close attention to this next one. Eyes on the screen. What event did this famous Olympic protest follow? I did not want to take this action. And I've been asked many times, did I regret doing it? And uh, uh, it's not regret that I did it, only that it happened. What event came before that protest? The 100 meters, 400 meter hurdles, or 200 meters? I hope you were focusing. One of the most famous protests in sports history came after Tommy Smith and John Carlos of the U.S. took gold and bronze in the 200 meters at the 1968 Mexico City Olympics. Smith said it was a human rights salute and was proud to do it. The event we were looking for, 200 meters. 7,549 of you leaping over that hurdle here at round number 10 as we move on to the final two rounds. Do you have what it takes to follow me to the finish line? Round number 11. Which of these was Althea Gibson not the first African-American woman to do? Join the LPGA, get a Wimbledon invite, or win an NCAA title? I know, this is a tough one. She pretty much did it all, right? She was one of the titans of 20th century sports. She was a professional golfer, breaking the LPGA's color barrier. She did the same thing in international tennis and won 11 Grand Slams. But the NCAA championship somehow managed to elude her. Win an NCAA title is the answer. I'm sure she could do it, though. 4,350 of you knew that one. And you know what this means. We are down to the final round. One question left. It all comes down to this. Everything you trained and worked so hard for. And I scouted you from the beginning, so you better not let this team or this coach down. Because it's round number 12. Here it is. The first African-American Heisman Trophy winner played for what university? Alabama, Syracuse, or Army? Get that answer in now. This is where it matters. Ernie Davis was both the first black Heisman Trophy winner and the first African-American chosen number one in the NFL draft. But Ernie Davis was the first to actually achieve uh, that status as a Heisman Trophy winner. And he dominated for three years at Syracuse. Syracuse is the university we were looking for and we have 4,149 new HQ Sports MVPs. Congratulations. thousand one hundred and forty nine winners wow you continue to impress me it looks like we are all taking home a prize in about 24 cents and hey i know what you're gonna say but that's 24 cents more than you had 16 minutes and 36 seconds ago to be exact i know so save it up that's like you know you put that in a parking meter you add that on to an extra shot and a latte yeah, you'll make room for it somewhere. Patrick Tarr, I see you there. 24 cents is coming your way. 
Maria, number one. All right, that's an interesting photo with Santa. But congratulations nonetheless. Joyce Clark, 24 cents, is coming your way as well. What a game! You killed it! Congrats to our newest HQ Sports MVPs. Go take a victory lap around your coffee table. You've earned it! We play HQ Sports every Monday and Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So I'm going to see you back here in two short days if you'll join me. Also, don't forget to come back tonight to witness some spicy stuff with Scott Rogowski at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. He'll be joined by a special guest. Guest, singular. The heat is definitely on in that one. Wow. All right. Now. It's Didi Gregorius' birthday. Did you know? Well, I'm telling you now. I've got to find a way to get down to Tampa with an ice cream cake before it melts. I know. I'm Lauren Gambino. Until next time, remember to hydrate, focus, and keep your head in the game.